Trump would need some combination of three things to have a chance of winning. <laughs> Number one, he would need some kind of vaccine or medical breakthrough announcement or a stimulus that generates some kind of last minute comeback narrative. The second would be Trump needs to drive Biden's negatives way up. Joe Biden is net positive by a few points. And in fact, his favorability, if anything, has gone up the last few weeks as Trump has continued to look worse and worse. Well, also hard to do when the guy you're attacking is pretty well known, has been in politics 47 years and there's only two weeks left. That's right. right. And the third thing Trump would need to do is hope that his ground game turns out an exorbitant number of whites without college degrees. Trump is hoping to turn these voters out, but he would need to turn it up by a lot and win back all of the blue collar white women who have defected from him since 2016. So early voting numbers are way up. What does that mean? We're headed for massive turnout, but the concern I have for Republicans is that by banking so many early votes, Democrats have relieved a lot of the pressure on election day polling place lines in heavily Democratic areas. With this historic turnout, we're talking potentially 150 to 160 million votes cast, which would shatter records. We could see backlogs and long lines of Republicans in election day precincts. If you're a casual voter who would vote for Trump, are you gonna really wait for three or four hours in line to, to vote? You might, but you also might take a pass.